SN. Translated by Bhikkhu Sujito. SUTTACentral.net. Link Discourses 45. 4 Practice. 095, SN.45.31, SN.45.160. SN.45.31 Practice, First. At Zavitya. Mendicants, I will teach you the wrong. Practice and the right practice. Listen. And what's the wrong practice? It is wrong view, wrong thought, wrong speech, wrong action, wrong livelihood, wrong effort, wrong mindfulness, and wrong immersion. This is called the wrong practice. And what's the right practice? It is right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is called the right practice. SN.45.32 Practice, Second. At Zavitya. Mendicants, I will teach you one practicing wrongly and one practicing rightly. Listen. And who is practicing wrongly? It's someone who has wrong view, wrong thought, wrong speech, wrong action, wrong livelihood, wrong effort, wrong mindfulness, and wrong immersion. This is called one practicing wrongly. And who is practicing rightly? It's someone who has right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is called one practicing rightly. SN.45.33 Missed Out At Zavitya Mendicants, whoever has missed out on the Noble Eightfold Path has missed out on the Noble Path to the complete ending of suffering. Whoever has undertaken the Noble Eightfold Path has undertaken the Noble Path to the complete ending of suffering. And what is the Noble Eightfold Path? It is right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. Whoever has missed out on the Noble Eightfold Path has missed out on the Noble Path to the complete ending of suffering. Whoever has undertaken the Noble Eightfold Path has undertaken the Noble Path to the complete ending of suffering. SN.45.34 Going to the Far Shore At Zavitya Mendicants when these eight things are developed and cultivated they lead to going from the near shore to the far shore. What eight? They are right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. When these eight things are developed and cultivated they lead to going from the near shore to the far shore. That is what the Buddha said. Then the Holy One, the teacher, went on to say. Few are those among humans who cross to the far shore. The rest just run around on the near shore. When the teaching is well explained, those who practice accordingly are the ones who will cross over death's domain so hard to pass. Rid of dark qualities. An astute person should develop the bright. Leaving home behind for the seclusion so hard to enjoy, you should try to find delight there having left behind sensual pleasures. With no possessions, an astute person should cleanse themselves of mental corruptions. And those whose minds are rightly developed in the awakening factors, letting go of attachments. They delight in not grasping. With defilements ended, brilliant. They are extinguished in this world. SN.45.35 The Ascetic Life, First at Zavitya. Mendicants, I will teach you the ascetic life. And the fruits of the ascetic life. Listen. And what is the ascetic life? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is called the ascetic life. And what are the fruits of the ascetic life? The fruits of stream entry, once return, non-return, and perfection. These are called the fruits of the ascetic life. SN.45.36 The Ascetic Life, Second. At Zavitya. Mendicants, I will teach you the ascetic life. And the goal of the ascetic life. 
listen. And what is the ascetic life? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is called the ascetic life. And what is the goal of the ascetic life? The ending of greed, hate, and delusion. This is called the goal of the ascetic life. SN.45.37 The Brahmin Life, First. At Savathya. Mendicants, I will teach you life as a Brahmin and the fruits of life as a Brahmin. Listen. And what is life as a Brahmin? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is called life as a Brahmin. And what are the fruits of life as a Brahmin? The fruits of stream entry, once return, non-return, and perfection. These are called the fruits of life as a Brahmin. SN.45.38 The Brahmin Life, Second. At Savathya. Mendicants, I will teach you life as a Brahmin and the goal of life as a Brahmin. Listen. And what is life as a Brahmin? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is called life as a Brahmin. And what is the goal of life as a Brahmin? The ending of greed, hate, and delusion. This is called the goal of life as a Brahmin. SN.45.39 The Spiritual Path, First. At Savathya. Mendicants, I will teach you the spiritual path. And the fruits of the spiritual path. Listen. And what is the spiritual path? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is called the spiritual path. And what are the fruits of the spiritual path? The fruits of stream entry, once return, non-return, and perfection. These are called the fruits of the spiritual path. SN.45.40 The Spiritual Path, Second. At Savathya. Mendicants, I will teach you the spiritual path. And the goal of the spiritual path. Listen. And what is the spiritual path? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is called the spiritual path. And what is the goal of the spiritual path? The ending of greed, hate, and delusion. This is called the goal of the spiritual path. SN.45.41 The Fading Away of Greed At Savathya Mendicants, if wanderers who follow another path were to ask you, reverence, what's the purpose of living the spiritual life with the ascetic Gotama? You should answer them like this, the purpose of living the spiritual life under the Buddha is the fading away of greed. If wanderers who follow other paths were to ask you, is there a path and a practice for the fading away of greed? You should answer them like this, there is a path and a practice for the fading away of greed. And what is that path, what is that practice for the fading away of greed? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is the path, this is the practice for the fading away of greed. When questioned by wanderers who follow other paths, that's how you should answer them. SN.45.4247 Six Discourses on Giving Up Fetters, etc. Mendicants, if wanderers who follow another path were to ask you, Reverence, what's the purpose of living the spiritual life with the ascetic Gotama? You should answer them like this. The purpose of living the spiritual life under the Buddha is to give up the fetters. To uproot the underlying tendencies. 
to completely understand the course of time, to end the defilements, to realize the fruit of knowledge and freedom, for knowledge and vision, SN.45.48 Extinguishment by not grasping, at Savathya, mendicants, if wanderers who follow another path were to ask you, reverence, what's the purpose of living the spiritual life with the ascetic Gotama? You should answer them like this, the purpose of living the spiritual life under the Buddha is extinguishment by not grasping. If wanderers who follow other paths were to ask you, is there a path and a practice for extinguishment by not grasping? You should answer them like this, there is a path and a practice for extinguishment by not grasping. And what is that path, what is that practice for extinguishment by not grasping? It is simply this noble eightfold path, that is, right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion. This is the path, this is the practice for extinguishment by not grasping. When questioned by wanderers who follow other paths, that's how you should answer them. SN.45.49 Good Friends, First. At Savathya. Mendicants, the dawn is the forerunner and precursor of the sunrise. In the same way good friendship is the forerunner and precursor of the noble eightfold path for a mendicant. A mendicant with good friends can expect to develop and cultivate the noble eightfold path. And how does a mendicant with good friends develop and cultivate the noble eightfold path? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which rely on seclusion, fading away, and cessation, and ripen as letting go. That's how a mendicant with good friends develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path. SN.45.5054 Five Discourses on Accomplishment in Ethics etc. First. Mendicants, the dawn is the forerunner and precursor of the sunrise. In the same way accomplishment in ethics is the forerunner and precursor of the noble eightfold path for a mendicant. A mendicant accomplished in ethics can expect. Accomplished in enthusiasm. Accomplished in self-development. Accomplished in view. Accomplished in diligence. SN.45.55 Accomplishment in Proper Attention, First. Mendicants, the dawn is the forerunner and precursor of the sunrise. In the same way accomplishment in proper attention is the forerunner and precursor of the noble eightfold path for a mendicant. A mendicant accomplished in proper attention can expect to develop and cultivate the noble eightfold path. And how does a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develop and cultivate the noble? Eightfold Path It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which rely on seclusion, fading away, and cessation, and ripen as letting go. That's how a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develops and cultivates the noble Eightfold Path. SN.45.56 Good Friends, Second Mendicants, the dawn is the forerunner and precursor of the sunrise. In the same way good. Friendship is the forerunner and precursor of the noble eightfold path for a mendicant. A mendicant with good friends can expect to develop and cultivate the noble eightfold path. And how does a mendicant with good friends develop and cultivate the noble eightfold path? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which culminate in the removal of greed, hate, and delusion. That's how a mendicant with good friends develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path. SN.45.5761 Five Discourses on Accomplishment in Ethics, etc. Second Mendicants the dawn is the forerunner and precursor of the sunrise. In the same way accomplishment in ethics is the forerunner and precursor of the noble eightfold path for a mendicant. Accomplishment in enthusiasm. Accomplishment in self-development. Accomplishment in view. 
Accomplishment in Diligence SN.45.62 Accomplishment in Proper Attention, 2nd Accomplishment in Proper Attention A mendicant accomplished in proper attention can expect to develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path. And how does a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path? It's when a mendicant develops Right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which culminate in the removal of greed, hate, and delusion. That's how a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develops and cultivates the Noble Eightfold Path. SN.45.63 Good Friends, First At Zavathya Mendicants, one thing helps give rise to the Noble Eightfold Path. What one thing? It's good. Friendship. A mendicant with good friends can expect to develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path. And how does a mendicant with good friends develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which rely on seclusion, fading away, and cessation, and ripen as letting go. That's how a mendicant with good friends develops and cultivates the Noble Eightfold Path. SN.45.6468 Five Discourses on Accomplishment in Ethics, etc. First, Mendicants, one thing helps give rise to the Noble Eightfold Path. What one thing? It's accomplishment in ethics. Accomplishment in enthusiasm. Accomplishment in self-development. Accomplishment in view. Accomplishment in diligence. SN.45.69 Accomplishment in proper attention, first. Accomplishment in proper attention. A mendicant accomplished in proper attention can expect to develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path. And how does a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which rely on seclusion, fading away, and cessation, and ripen as letting go. That's how a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develops and cultivates the Noble. Eightfold Path SN.45.70 Good Friends, Second At Zavathya Mendicants, one thing helps give rise to the Noble Eightfold Path. What one thing? It's good friendship. A mendicant with good friends can expect to develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path. And how does a mendicant with good friends develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which culminate in the removal of greed, hate, and delusion. That's how a mendicant with good friends develops and cultivates the Noble Eightfold Path. SN.45.7175 Five Discourses on Accomplishment in Ethics, etc. Second at Zavathya. Mendicants, one thing helps give rise to the Noble Eightfold Path. What one thing? It's accomplishment in ethics. Accomplishment in enthusiasm. Accomplishment in self-development. Accomplishment in view. Accomplishment in diligence. SN.45.76 Accomplishment in proper attention, second. Accomplishment in proper attention. A. Mendicant accomplished in proper attention can expect to develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path. And how does a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which culminate in the removal of greed, hate, and delusion. That's how a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develops and cultivates the Noble Eightfold Path.
SN.45.77 Good friends. At Zavathya. Mendicants, I do not see a single thing that gives rise to the Noble Eightfold Path, or, if it's already arisen, fully develops it like good friendship. A mendicant with good friends can expect to develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path. And how does a mendicant with good friends develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which rely on seclusion, fading away, and cessation, and ripen as letting go. That's how a mendicant with good friends develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path. SN.45.7882 5 Discourses on Accomplishment in Ethics, etc. Mendicants, I do not see a single thing that gives rise to the Noble Eightfold Path, or, if it's already arisen, fully develops it like accomplishment in ethics. Accomplishment in enthusiasm. Accomplishment in self-development. Accomplishment in view. Accomplishment in diligence. SN.45.83 Accomplishment in Proper Attention Accomplishment in Proper Attention A mendicant accomplished in proper attention can expect to develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path. And how does a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which rely on seclusion, fading away, and cessation, and ripen as letting go. That's how a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develops and cultivates the Noble Eightfold Path. SN.45.84 Good Friends, Second Mendicants, I do not see a single thing that gives rise to the Noble Eightfold Path, or, if it's already arisen, fully develops it like good friendship. A mendicant with good friends can expect to develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path. And how does a mendicant with good friends develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which culminate in the removal of greed, hate, and delusion. That's how a mendicant with good friends develops and cultivates the Noble Eightfold Path. SN.45.8589 5 Discourses on Accomplishment in Ethics, etc. Mendicants, I do not see a single thing that gives rise to the Noble Eightfold Path, or, if it's already arisen, fully develops it like accomplishment in ethics. Accomplishment in Enthusiasm Accomplishment in Self-Development Accomplishment in view. Accomplishment in diligence. SN.45.90 Accomplishment in proper attention, second. Accomplishment in proper attention. A mendicant accomplished in proper attention can expect to develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path. And how does a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develop and cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path? It's when a mendicant develops. Right view right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which culminate in the removal of greed, hate, and delusion. That's how a mendicant accomplished in proper attention develops and cultivates the Noble Eightfold Path. SN.45.91 Slanting East At Zavathya Mendicants, the Ganges River slants, slopes and inclines to the east. In the same way, a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. And how does a mendicant who develops the noble eightfold path slant, slope, and incline to extinguishment? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion which rely on seclusion, fading away, and cessation, and ripen as letting go. 
that's how a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold paths lands, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. SN.45.9295 Four Discourses on Slanting East Mendicants, the Yamuna River Slants, Slopes, and Inclines to the East. The Asairavati River. The Surabhu River. The Mahi River. SN.45.966 Discourse on Slanting East Mendicants, All the Great Rivers, that is, the Ganges, Yamuna, Asairavati, Surabhu, and Mahi, Slant, Slope, and incline towards the east. In the same way, a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. And how does a mendicant who develops the noble eightfold path slant, slope, and incline to extinguishment? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion which rely on seclusion, fading away, and cessation, and ripen as letting go. That's how a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. SN.45.97 Slanting to the Ocean Mendicants, the Ganges River slants, slopes, and inclines to the ocean. In the same way, a mendicant who develops the noble eightfold path, slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. SN.45.98 SN.45.102 Five Discourses on Slanting To the Ocean Mendicants, the Yamuna River slants, slopes, and inclines to the ocean. The Asairavati River The Surabhu River The Mahi River All the Great Rivers SN.45.103 Slanting East Mendicants, the Ganges River slants, slopes, and inclines to the east. In the same way, a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. And how does a mendicant who develops the noble eightfold path slant, slope, and incline to extinguishment? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which culminate in the removal of greed, hate, and delusion. That's how a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. SN.45.104 SN.45.108 Five Discourses on Sloping to the East Mendicants the Yamuna River slants, slopes, and inclines to the east. The Asairavati River. The Surabhu River. The Mahi River. All the Great Rivers. SN.45.109 Slanting to the Ocean. Mendicants, the Ganges River slants, slopes, and inclines to the ocean. In the same way, a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. And how does a mendicant who develops the noble eightfold path slant, slope, and incline to extinguishment? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which culminate in the removal of greed, hate, and delusion. That's how a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. SN.45.110 SN.45.114 Slanting to the Ocean Mendicants, the Yamuna River slants, slopes, and inclines to the ocean. The Asairavati River The Surabhu River The Mahi River All the Great Rivers SN.45.115 Slanting East Mendicants, the Ganges River slants, slopes, and inclines to the east. In the same way, a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble. Eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. And how does a mendicant who develops the noble eightfold path slant, slope, and incline to extinguishment? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, 
right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which culminate, finish, and end in the deathless. That's how a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. SN.45.116 SN.45.120 Slanting East Mendicants, the Yamuna River slants, slopes, and inclines to the east. The Asairavati River, the Surabhu River, the Mahi River, all the great rivers. SN.45.121 Slanting to the Ocean Mendicants, the Ganges River slants, slopes, and inclines to the ocean. In the same way, a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. And how does a mendicant who develops the noble eightfold path slant, slope, and incline to extinguishment? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which culminate, finish, and end in the deathless. That's how a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. SN.45.122 SN.45.126 Sloping to the ocean mendicants, the Yamuna River slants, slopes, and inclines to the ocean. The Asairavati River, the Surabhu River, the Mahi River, all the great rivers. SN.45.127 Slanting East Mendicants, the Ganges River slants, slopes, and inclines to the east. In the same way, a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. And how does a mendicant who develops the noble eightfold path slant, slope, and incline to extinguishment? It's when a mendicant develops right view right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. That's how a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. SN.45.128 SN.45.132 Slanting East Mendicants the Yamuna River slants, slopes, and inclines to the east. The Asairavati River, the Surabhu River, the Mahi River, all the great rivers. SN.45.133 slanting to the ocean mendicants, the Ganges River slants, slopes, and inclines to the ocean. In the same way, a Mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. And how does a mendicant who develops the noble eightfold path slant, slope, and incline to extinguishment? It's when a mendicant develops right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right immersion, which slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. That's how a mendicant who develops and cultivates the noble eightfold path slants, slopes, and inclines to extinguishment. SN.45.134 SN.45.138 Slanting to the ocean mendicants, the Yamuna River slants, slopes, and inclines to the ocean. The Asairavati River, the Surabhu River, the Mahi River, all the great rivers. SN.45.139 The Realized One at Savathya